Hi there. Thanks so much for coming out so last minute to fill in as our HVAC technician. It's a scorcher out today, and somehow all four of the HVAC units on this building are acting up. I know it's your first day, but not to worry. I will help you with as much as I can. I already laid out all the supplies you're going to need here, as well as a few extra tools by each unit. Let's get started right away, before someone downstairs passes out from the heat. Head over to the first HVAC unit at location 1, using your teleportation map. Okay, now that you're here, you should know that this particular model has a few common problems. Faulty wires, low refrigerant, old compressor, and broken fan blades. You're going to want to use your manual to figure out what this issue could be. Have a look at the manual now. Read through the different common breakdowns and see if this problem with the HVAC unit fits the description in the manual. Looks like the refrigerant gas needs to be refilled. Go back to your workstation using the home icon on the teleportation map and grab the manifold gauge. That's it. Bring the manifold gauge back over to the unit at location one. Now hang the manifold on the bar next to the power lever on the HVAC unit. Next, you're going to need a refrigerant tank from the workstation to refill the gas in the HVAC unit. Bring the tank back to the unit at location 1. Now, place the refrigerant tank on the highlighted area next to the HVAC unit. Next, attach the three hoses that are along the bottom of the manifold to the refrigerant tank you just brought over and the pipes of the HVAC unit. There are two pipes on the HVAC unit that are located just below where the manifold is hanging. Be sure to attach all hoses correctly. Refer to the manual for detailed instructions. Perfect. Now open the refrigerant tank by rotating the valve on the top of the tank to the left, lefty-loosey, or counterclockwise. Now this step can be tricky, so pay close attention. To refill the HVAC unit, you need to slowly rotate the blue dial on the manifold to the right, or clockwise. You will see the amount of gas in the HVAC unit fill up on the manifold's digital screen. Once it is in the green, you can stop filling it. Be careful not to overfill the unit and make sure you don't touch the red dial. We don't need to use that today, and if you do rotate it, there's a high chance it will blow up the refrigerant tank, and you'll have to grab a new one. Perfect, that looks full. You're going to want to close the refrigerant tank now. Simply rotate the valve on the top to the right, righty-tighty, or clockwise. Now disconnect all the hoses. I think it's fixed. I'm in the lobby of the building, and you can feel some cold air coming out. I'll give you a call if anything else breaks down. Hey, I'm on the second level now, and there's no cold air on this floor. Go to the HVAC unit at location 2 and see if you can figure out the problem. Don't forget, you have the manual to help you if you get stuck.
Fantastic. We have AC on the first couple of floors now. I think there's a problem with another HVAC unit. See if you can fix the HVAC unit at location 3. Whatever you're doing up there, it's working. It just got a bit colder down here. Looks like there's still one more unit left to fix. Head over to location 4 and get started. I'll let you know when I feel cold air down here. Great work. That's the last one. You just made a lot of people happy down here. But there's no time to rest on a hot day like today. We have calls coming in from all over the city. I'll see you at the next site. Thanks again for your help. 